All right, let's talk about uh, another traitorous organization in the United States of America, folks. Uh, McDonald's, it's my little message to you. <laughs> uh, first, you guys know I'm going to tell you my little... Oh, dang, I don't know what the hell I just hit. Oh, cool. uh, you know I'm going to tell you my little uh, uh, McDonald's story today. Me and my boss go there. Uh, he likes to go there. I don't know why. We go there a lot. <laughs> and... uh. First, they were real, real big Nazis about the whole mask thing. And then they um, kind of stopped caring. But it, it, what, what really frustrated me about today was, and you guys will see it, you saw it in the last video, the bald-headed guy who works at uh, the McDonald's in Leland, who was always a uh, stickler and trying to tell everybody and, and, and literally telling us that he will not serve us unless we have a face mask on, this guy has already served me a week ago Without, without, when I came in there, without my face mask on, I didn't have my GoPro strapped to my chest, but I was recording and I put it on Facebook. He didn't say anything to me. The girl, the the lady, I don't know if they're both managers or what, but the black girl in the uh, glasses, which I understand you guys are doing your job, but hey, I'm doing my job, which is to inform people that you guys don't have the right to do this, and not you. I'm talking about your company, McDonald's. So. I was on Walmart, but now I'm going to get on you, McDonald's, because not only did... Oh, yeah, let me finish the story. So then uh, the, the, the black lady with the glasses, she she served me literally two days ago from today. I literally went in there without a mask, and I had my GoPro on, and I was recording with my phone because I was expecting somebody to say something. But then again, I wasn't at the same time because I had just, like I said, before that, I had been in there a couple, uh, I think like a week ago, and the, the bald-headed guy didn't say anything to me. So, I don't understand, I guess when they're together, it, 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 McDonald's, is it when your managers only follow your little policies that aren't, that aren't, uh, don't hold up in uh, the court of law? I guess they only do that when they're together so they can make it seem like they really care about your uh, policies because they probably don't even really care either or it... it, it your whole organization, you're, you're a bunch of hypocrites, okay? Now, the bald-headed guy, because he, he was trying, he was in there talking to some dudes, trying to be cool. I came up, he said, I didn't have a face mask. He said, I didn't have a face mask. I don't wear them. I have a medical condition. Okay, sir. This is anything. And it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, another thing. It doesn't matter about a medical uh, 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 a medical excuse. You Nobody owes you a medical excuse. Uh, McDonald's? And I am, it, it, it's, it, and don't uh, come here about all of that, who eats at McDonald's anyway and who is feces in the food. I get water, but still, it doesn't matter. I mean, boss goes there, still, it doesn't matter. You guys are not seeing the point. It doesn't matter if it's at, it doesn't matter if it's at, um, uh, it doesn't matter, sorry, I almost, I mean, y'all just be frustrated me. It doesn't matter uh, if somebody, some, nobody has to have a freaking medical excuse, first of all. And it doesn't matter if, uh, we have a condition or or not you are you are nobody to say that uh we need to do something oh yeah uh in, in your hr your corporate business whoever you are with, with the 910 corporate business number this lady had a nerve to tell me that in my case when i explained to her i explained to her what i just explained to you guys and she said well in your case that means you can just tell them and i'll inform them next time she tried to tell me well was it this mcdonald's which i told her which one it was but i said she said, well, I'll inform them next time your uh, situation and so on and so on. I said, miss, you don't understand. It's not about uh, me having an excuse. I don't need an excuse. Well, but that's their policy, she says. Well, well, yeah, that's their policy to keep everybody safe. I said, oh, yeah, well, that's fine. But uh, keeping everybody safe doesn't hold up in the court of law. So, McDonald's, you're my new focus. I'm going to all your stores live because I'm sick of your little... Uh, uh, not face mask Nazis running around here too, trying to tell everybody stuff that they got to do. You're you're worse than Walmart. So I will be coming to your locations in Wilmington. And I will be recording in them live. And if anybody else has a problem with it, you can kiss my American ass. All you little crybabies, well, you going in there, going in there, trying to disturb you, let it work. Because I'm trying to save freedom and, and educate people and let them know that uh, you have a choice. And I'm telling them the truth, but you're mad because I'm calling out liars who are telling people that they don't have a choice to do something when they do. She's talking about the, the HR, whatever it is, franchise lady. She's talking about uh, that um, um, 
she's gonna um, that next time I come in there that I should inform them of my situation and inform them to whatever I say I shouldn't have to inform your managers about policies and laws are they not your policies and laws so why the hell do I have to educate your managers on uh, uh, the difference between a policy and a law it's on the door okay who cares if it's on the door who gives a shit if it's on the door why are we it's on the door if you put a sign on the door that says I have to uh, anybody who comes in here and orders a McDonald's fry you have to swallow all your fries whole because you can't chew them if they put that uh, you can't chew them because they might I don't know give you the outbreak of CV-19 if you chew because you know they always got a stupid excuse to how you can get CV-19 would that mean that I would have to do it something that stupid and that ridiculous because they have a sign on the door that says it no I don't know who you think you are. And well, first of all, a lot of people are already discovering what's really in your foods and what you're really doing and how you make your products and how you affect other countries, Mr. Ronald over there. But Mr. Ronald McDonald wants to see everybody happy. You're just a clown. Just like these people in your uh, establishments. Look, y'all people, I'm about to like, I'm not being nice to you no more, Okay. First time, first couple times, try to be nice, but you want to get a little attitude with me, I'll show you who has the bigger attitude. I'm not walking away no more and just walking out the door. I'm going to stay there and I'm going to record you and I'm going to be live and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to talk to you like a little child in front of everybody on my live streams. This isn't going to be on my live stream or one of my live stream videos because this is on this channel. But if you're one of those crybabies, that are here and you're all mad about what I'm doing, I'm not going to direct you to where I put, put my live streams at because I already know what your type does. If you actually matter, which is somebody who is, wants to join this cause and understands what I'm doing, I will gladly, you ask, I will gladly give you, the, you can email me and I will gladly give you where you can go watch all of my Walmart lives because I'm definitely about to start putting McDonald's on blast. So McDonald's, don't think this because you're on this little rinky dick channel and all I'm talking and all I'm doing is talking. You can go ahead and keep thinking that, Okay. Because I have thousands and thousands. I have at least, uh, what? I have at least 20,000 uh, uh, subscribers and followers and all that other stuff. Uh, with all my stuff combined, I don't know. With all of my pages and stuff combined. You're on one of my first starting Rinky Ding pages. So trust me, if you don't start telling people the truth and start treating people right and stop trying to re uh, uh, refuse me service, we both went in there and I got it on camera. My boss told you he had a medical condition. And he doesn't wear a mask, and even though he doesn't even need one either. Neither We don't need no conditions. We don't need that. We don't wear them. You don't even have a right to even ask us about a face mask. But you people are so, you're, you're, you're getting to the point where you're just so retarded that I have to uh, talk to you like you're retarded because you just don't seem to understand it. So, McDonald's, that's what's going to happen. You people should be very, 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 very ashamed of yourselves that you are literally acting like they acted in Nazi Germany of the time when uh, they when they used all of their uh, little uh, Nazi soldiers to keep everybody in line. You're acting just like those Nazi soldiers and you don't even care. And then what makes it so worse, you claim to be some kind of loving for family and uh, equality for everybody and in our policy, we don't discriminate and so and so and so and so and so. But that's uh, that's exactly what you do. You're such a hypocritical organization. You're such a bunch of you're such a bunch of liars. Let's get serious. All you businesses, you don't care about families. You care about making your money. You don't care about paying your employees overtime. You care about shorting them overtime. I've worked for all kinds of organizations like uh, your organization, so you can get mad and say I'm doing false information. Everybody knows the truth. Even your workers do. I got some of your workers. You're lucky because I because uh, they were cool to me, and I don't want to be. Put them on blast because I know that you, you your little uh, uh, un-American ass will fire them for t for giving you, for um, telling their opinion. I got, I got a whole bunch of your employees on tape uh, talking about how your mass policies are stupid, how uh, it's ridiculous that they even have to do it. I don't see some of them was censored on their face masks because they don't want to wear the junk and all this stuff. I don't got so many of your employees. I mean, it's ridiculous. I even had... Uh, and then you got all these sheeple out here who believe that these people can still do this and that they're right by law when they're not. I went to uh, Walmart. I'm changing this up a little bit, a little bit. But I went to Walmart uh, yesterday 
and because uh, I broke a piece of my GoPro and I had like a warranty and I was trying to get it back. And I just asked him a simple question. I said, does Walmart a privately owned business? And this guy worked there. And this guy, I want to put him on blast. I'm not going to upload that video. But I said, is, uh, um, do you mind asking me Do you mind asking me a random question? And he's like, what's up? I was like, uh, is Walmart a privately owned business? He said he don't even know. And he works there. But it is a privately owned business. And so is Sam's Club. And so is uh, Metro by, by T-Mobile or whatever. But that doesn't give them the right to deny somebody service because they don't wear a facial cover. I am trying to get you to understand this, Walmart. I mean, we yeah, have Walmart and uh, McDonald's. Walmart, don't think I don't know that you, when I'm not, when I when, when I don't walk in there, you'll tell somebody else that they have to wear a mask when they don't. don't think, I'm not stupid. I'm monitoring, I'm monitoring, I'm watching you. I am watching every single thing you do. Since you decided to come and just watch every single thing I do and worry about what I'm doing, trying to be all to my business when I was not worrying about you and I just want to come in your store and get a... Uh, uh, shot like a regular customer and not get your uh, ill-advised uh, medical opinion that you don't have no uh, medical uh, demand that you're placing on me. I, don't, I didn't come to your establishment for that. Sit your ass down or go do whatever you got to do. Go do your job and get out of my face about a face mask. Get the hell out of my face about a face mask. Because now this is the attitude that you're going to get. Call the cops, call your manager, call the supervisor, call the franchise leader. I don't give a shit. Stop telling me stuff that's not true. Stop telling me what I got to do. Stop acting like you know who you're dealing with because you want to catch an attitude with the right one. And I'm the right one to catch an attitude with. Care how bad you think you are, who you think you are, if you get an attitude with everybody else in your life, you got the right one if you think you're going to get an attitude with me when I come in there and I pay your bills and I'm coming there to get you, your customer service. You got the right one if you think you're going to catch an attitude with me. So Walmart, McDonald's, Wendy's, uh, whoever else, you want to keep playing these little games? You're, I'm telling you that I'm going to make every single one of your monkey asses famous. Come here, report my channels, get them taken down. There's going to be a thousand more back up. None of, you don't have anybody that can hang with me on social media. And since you are such a freaking thorn in my ass and singling me out all the time and looking at me like you've never seen a person's full face before, I'm going to say this over and over and over and over again with every ounce of energy and every sweat uh, 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 that comes out of my body and every blood, all the blood run through my vein. I'm going to use every single one of that to make sure that everybody knows that you are a bunch of liars and that you need to get back in your place and stay there. Now I'm not being nice no more. Ask me about a face mask. Even ask me if I have one and you're going to get blanked on. Even ask me. Point to your face. <laughs> Slapping yourself in the cheekbone like I don't know what you want. No, I don't wear a face mask. <laughs> Pointing at your face mask. About to dislocate your jaw. Look. That's what's going to happen. So keep playing with me. Keep freaking playing with me. Anybody want to get mad about what I'm doing? You go ahead and keep crying too. I'm going to give you a, because I'm going to give you more. Whatever you cry about, I'm going to make sure that I focus in on that and then go do it again. And then go do it even more. And then go do it even longer. And then go just uh, 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 create a sympathy, create a sympathy on, 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 of what you don't like. Bunch of little bitches.